the dead, thou shalt be saved. And that's the gospel, and we, we're to tell the gospel. We're to share the gospel. A church that doesn't preach the gospel is not a church. A preacher that doesn't preach the gospel is not a preacher. A pastor that doesn't preach the gospel is not a pastor. You have to put the gospel at the centre of the ministry and work that you do. Verse 13, in whom you also trusted, after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after you believed, again you believed, you believed, faith, your faith in Jesus brings salvation. After that you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit a promise. So, you're not only chosen, you're not only adopted, you're chosen in verse 4, according as he's chosen us. Verse 4, according he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. You're chosen, you're adopted, verse 5, having predestinated us unto the adoption of sons. So you're chosen, you're adopted, but now you're sealed by the Holy Spirit. Verse 13, Ephesians 13, In whom you also trusted at the, after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after you believed you were what? Sealed with the Holy Spirit of a promise. Now in the ancient world, if you wanted to look after something or preserve something that was very, very precious to you, you sealed it with wax. You, you maybe got a tin, you put your diamonds in, you put whatever was important to you and you sealed it okay so the sealing of the spirit is to say that you've been set apart by God and you are precious to him okay that sealing of the spirit is also a down payment it's a down payment of what you're going to get in eternity it's showing that you're precious to God and that he is when he has adopted you he has sealed you he is he is marking you off he is marking you out as someone precious to him isn't that beautiful verse 14 who is the earnest of our inheritance so the sealing of the spirit is part of our inheritance our eternal inheritance who is the earnest of our inheritance and the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory so we've been purchased we've been redeemed by the blood of the lamb we've been chosen adopted and sealed and the holy spirit is part of that uh, possession earnest possession of the redemption in other words the redemption the death of the Lord has paid our debt and now we get our inheritance but we can't have it all now we can't have all our inheritance now so what God has done is given us the sealing of the Spirit He's given us a down payment of the Holy Spirit right now but this it's a token of all that we're going to inherit so let's go back to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places with all spiritual blessings so when you're sealed with the Spirit of God it's kind of like imagine uh, you're a you're a billionaire you're a billionaire and you have billions of pounds and you want your son to inherit all your billions so before you die you give your son a million pound he says son here's a million pound and I give you a, a letter and it's marked with a, a wax seal saying that you will inherit all of my money and here's a token of this a million pounds when I die you can have all my billions and God is saying look 
here is the sealing of the spirit here is my token that you're going to inherit all my blessings and that's what it means to be sealed in the spirit so let's close in prayer i hope this has been a blessing to you this is a part of the bible studies and preaching of uh, manchester evangelical fellowship it's just it's just going to be a little group where we study the bible uh, and share the word of god and i hope it's i hope it's a blessing to you and i hope it builds you up in the faith i hope it enriches you in in, in your walk with the lord okay let's pray father we thank you for your love father what amazing truths here amazing riches amazing glory we can't even begin to fathom the riches and the glory of your word i pray that these little studies would encourage your people would strengthen your people would empower your people and i pray that you will fill them with your holy spirit today in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Don't forget my website, Jason Burns Preacher, Preacher, Jason Burns Preacher .com. If these Bible studies are being a blessing to you, you can contribute to Patreon account. Also, um, there's a, um, a book that's on Amazon in the next couple of days. You can buy that book. Um, you can go to my Facebook or Twitter to find out about the book and uh, if these studies are feeding you and blessing you then you can bless me and uh, contribute to to my ministry uh, to Royal Blood Ministry so you can go to my patron on the top of the YouTube channel or you can go to Twitter and find out about a book that you can buy in the in, in the next few days so I love you all God bless you may God be with you and uh, Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless.